Yum. Pineapple juice is underrated. I forgot to shake this. You think I can shake it now? It said shake well before use. I'll just wipe it on myself. It's so hot in LA right now. And I think I've said this in every video, but I don't have AC. So when it's hot, I just have to deal with it. So all my windows are open. If you hear like weird sounds in the background, don't worry. It's probably just very extreme crimes happening outside of my city windows. Today, I'm going to be doing some decorating. I have this little corner here, my reading corner pretty good but I feel like it could be cuter I've really wanted to do something with this side of the wall for a while and I haven't done anything also this plant is getting so large so I needed to do something about it let's let's move into a bigger frame for the decorating voila so this is my little reading corner I eat here I do a lot of stuff in this corner actually I really like it it's like a lot of sunlight and the breeze comes in through all these windows and it's just like a really nice little area but the other day I had a dream and in the dream there was like stuff all over these walls and there were like these little like plants and like all these like little things and then when I woke up and I like walked into the kitchen, I was like disappointed and confused. I was like, why isn't there all this beautiful stuff on the walls? Underrated. So I've spent kind of like the past week thinking about this and I have a plan for how I'm going to decorate this wall. First thing I want to do is I've got this really cool photo that I have. My sister knows how much I love Polaroids and she found this vintage issue of Life magazine when the Polaroid first came out with Dr. Edwin Land. I just think it's the coolest thing ever and it's been sitting on my dresser for a while and I just don't want it to get hurt so I framed it. Got the frame from Target for like 10 bucks. I'm gonna try to put it up. I'm thinking like I think I'm like here. I usually don't try to like nail things into the walls, but I actually just renewed my lease for this apartment. So I'm gonna be here for a whole other year with no AC. And so I figured I was just like, well shoot, let's just make this apartment cute. This apartment actually is pretty cute. The AC is not cute though. That ain't cute. I'm sweating all the time. I'm sweating right now. I don't even care. This is a whole magazine. This isn't just like one piece of paper. I put a whole magazine inside of a frame. But the thing that I think is so interesting about this are the advertisements inside of it. On the back, there's an advertisement for cigarettes. Ones that are like, don't listen to your doctor. Cigarettes are fun. Just the ads are just mind blowing. Ta-da! Oh my God, it's so good. I can't really see this. There's a really bad reflection on it. It's so good. I love it. It's so hot. I asked y'all on Twitter what you wanted me to talk about in this episode of Decorating with Cone. And a lot of you guys asked me to talk about self-confidence. If I'm gonna be honest, I'm really not the most self-confident person. It's weird because, you know, you would expect someone who gets thousands of people telling him that he is cute, should feel cute, but like that just isn't the case at all. And I think it's kind of unrealistic for people to be like, oh, just love yourself. It's not like that. Like that's not how it works. It's not just like, oh, well, since you told me to love myself, like, you're right, I'm gonna do it. Like, that's just, like, not the truth. I feel like loving yourself is, like, a process. It's a long transition. It's not really something that just, like, clicks. I have months where I feel cute. I have months where I feel hideous. And I'm not gonna, like, sit here and lie to you and say, like, I always feel great. I'm just, like, sunshine. And when I look in the mirror, I'm like, ah. You're adorable. That's just not true. And that's so unrealistic to try to preach to people that that's how you should feel every single day. Like that's just not life. The thing that has really opened my eyes a lot to like being beautiful and how to not hate yourself is something that's kind of morbid, but it's eye opening. And so I'm going to say it even if it's a little bit morbid. I work in the entertainment industry and I meet a lot of different people every day. And I can say deep down out of all the people on earth, the most beautiful people are usually the ones that are the most self-conscious met a fair share of models and they're like the pinnacles of like what human physical attributes should be they are literally what is expected out of all humans and they've reached it they have it but they all like hate themselves it's this bizarre thing they're all super sad they're all super self-conscious yet according to most people's logic they should be obsessed with themselves they should be over the moon every time they look in the mirror but that just isn't the case that's just not true and so it kind of brings me back around this point that like feeling beautiful is really something that has to happen like within yourself and I know it sounds really cliche but like it's just the gosh darn truth every single one of these like classically beautiful people that I've met proved to me that you can do everything you can have the perfect hair perfect teeth perfect body you can do all that but that isn't going to make you happy and that isn't going to make you love yourself on days when I'm feeling really self-conscious and frankly on days when I just don't even like want to see my own face in the mirror. I have to remind myself that like there's no one who is being harsher on me than 
myself. That was a long spiel. Back to decorating. This right here is my spider plant. I love my spider plant. I think that my spider plant is adorable. But my spider plant is getting very large. You can't really see, but there's like, there's a lot. It's very large. This type of plant like shoots down more plants to the ground and then those plants that are grown shoot more. So eventually they can be like 20 feet long. So what I like to do is I like to just cut off one of them every once in a while. Just that way it doesn't get too overgrown. But the cool thing about spider plants is they can grow in just water as well. So I have this little glass container thing that you can hang up on your wall that I bought on Amazon. Because I have two spider plants in here. I thought it might look cute and like really jungly if I put another one right here and kind of just like built like tons of spider plants all around this whole entire like corner. Spider plant sounds kind of like a spooky name, but I actually really love spiders. The other day I showered with a spider. Shower buddy. Spiders really do a lot for the environment, so if you ever see one in your room, try to take it outside. And if you can't take it outside yourself, then just call me and I will take it outside. Don't smush that thing. Don't kill it. I don't. Maybe here. I'm gonna use a 3M hook. Voila. Now we gotta give this little dude a trim. I have these golden garden shears that my friend Hannah got me for my birthday and they're so cute and I love them. I think they're so large and I don't know what to do. I don't want to get rid of this one because it's so pretty, but I think I'm going to get rid of this one because these ones have more growing out of them and I kind of want to see how long it can get. <laughs> but it also it like really fills it out. Okay, so the trick is to just trim it like at the very, 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 very bottom because it can just grow back. Okay, ready? Ta-da! Look how big it is. <laughs> Y'all, this is like a plant. Like this is one plant. Like this can grow into its own plant. I love them. I think they're amazing. I'm going to put you right here for a second. Stay there. We need to fill your container up. In times where I'm like really lacking in self-confidence, I notice that like I don't even want to like myself. Like I feel gross and I feel like there's no hope in me not feeling gross. So I'm just not even gonna try it and I'll just be gross forever and ever. And that's that. There's like little things I think that like help me kind of get out of that mood. When I have these moods, they usually last like a week where I just like the whole week I just feel hideous and I just can't explain it. I don't know what starts it. I don't know why I get that way, but my friends notice that I get that way. My close friend Maggie here, whenever I get in that mood, she like looks at me. She's like, Conan, shut up. And she always tells me to buy a new outfit. I know it sounds kind of like stupid. Just buy a new outfit and you'll like yourself. But I think kind of going out of your way to put something on you that makes you happy and makes you feel good and makes you feel confident. I think just that act of like taking care of yourself does a lot more for you than you really think. I think if you treat yourself like you don't deserve to even like yourself, then you probably won't like yourself. And I noticed that once I get into some new clothes and start listening to some new music and kind of like change my surroundings, a bit. I tend to get out of the rut pretty quickly after that. Let's fill this up. You can kind of see right here, but like there's like little roots right here and they have to touch the water if you want them to start propagating. That's like what I want it to look like. Damn. <laughs> that does not look right. <laughs> I think I have to trim this guy even more. Spider plants are just so hardy. You could like literally do anything to them and they just keep going like nothing's happening. <laughs> it looks a little bit like a palm tree right now. It's okay. She'll come along. Plants take time. <laughs> I think the biggest takeaway when it comes to self-love is just, it's a journey. It's not gonna happen overnight. Don't be too hard on yourself when you have days where you just don't feel that great. I think by like shoving positivity in your face is just, it doesn't work and it's, and it's just unrealistic. There's nobody on planet earth who is just thrilled about their existence all the time. I guarantee it. Validation from other people isn't gonna help you. It didn't help me. I hated myself when I was younger. I truly did not want to be myself. But in the past year, I've really grown into myself and I feel very much more comfortable in my skin. And I don't think that that came from validation from people who watch the videos or who listened to my music or anything. I think that it came out of me just finally being like, I don't care. Finally accepting the fact that being superficially beautiful isn't going to change the way that I feel about myself is what kind of built my morale. And also by like finally letting myself be who I wanted to be, not making myself be who I thought I should be, but like finally letting myself wear the clothes that I want to wear and do the things that I want to do and do them well because I'm actually passionate about it. I I think that is what really helped boost my self-confidence in the past year. There's a lot of little things you can do to kind of get yourself out of the dumps. I, I like putting on outfits that make me happy and I like decorating my room to make it look 
nice and that kind of stuff makes me feel happier. And I think everyone else has little tricks and if you have any advice for anyone who is dealing with self-acceptance and self-love issues, please put them in the comments below. I think we could all learn from each other. I think that not feeling good enough is just part of the human experience, but it shouldn't be the only human experience. <laughs> I'm super hard on myself and I get in these moods where I'm like, ugh, I'm disgusting. But I know for a fact that in 30 years, I'm gonna look back on myself and be like, wow, you were so stupid for even thinking that. You, you need to chill out. <laughs> and I think that all of our future selves are going to look back on, on our teenage years and realize how beautiful we really were and how insignificant these little things that we get so obsessed with about ourselves, how insignificant they really are and how much more important other things are like your personality and like your brain and what you like to do and your hobbies and the way that you treat people. All so much more important things than physical attractiveness. And I can say with full confidence right now that I feel cute because this corner of my apartment is cute and it made me happy decorating it. I don't always feel cute, but right now I do. I hope you enjoyed decorating this corner of my room with me. I'll see you guys next time I need to decorate a corner of my room. God bless and goodbye. Pew.